Hi, I'm Nash and thank you for watching IslandToAnimate.com. Um, recently for my 3D modeling in Maya for Iron Man, I received a comment to talk about how to find the interactive split tool uh, for Maya 2016. Okay, so I'm going to get straight into that. So let's go to Maya 2016. So this is the latest version. So how do we actually use the interactive split tool? Now before we do anything, let's create a very simple polygon cube. Alright. And there's nothing special about this guy, but this is the interact uh, uh, cube. So it is no longer called interactive split tool in Maya 2016. Instead it is called this multi cut tool you can see at the bottom left hand corner of the screen okay when you move the mouse over all you can see over here it says multi cut tool okay so how do we go about using this the most basic um way of cutting so let's say I'm i've turned this guy on and you can see that your tool is being turned on, on the left hand side all you need to do is um just move your mouse over to where you want to cut you can see there's some snapping going on over here so let's just say we want to cut from here and down to here and if you like to it's just left left mouse click and if you like to move to the other side you can continue to cut by clicking on anywhere along this line and click and once you're done once you're done you can just hit on right click and the cut will be there however this is the very basic and um, there are more settings you can do with this tool so um, if you have not gotten anything here we can just turn it on by clicking on this um, tool setting okay you can see over here but you can see on the bottom left hand corner again they say show and hide tool setting I'm going to click on this guy and now you are able to see that there are quite a lot of um, settings for you to, sh to see right if you need any help especially shortcut key i would suggest that you open up this small triangle over here okay and read it and use it but for now i'm just going to demonstrate how to use this all right so um to cut at a more accurate way there are a few things that you can do with this okay first is once you click on anywhere you want to cut click the mouse okay let me just Okay, click on the mouse and hold it. Okay, and you try to move left and right and you should be able to see that there's a percentage appeared on the line. So this is where you can actually gauge where you want to cut it. So for example, I want to cut it at 30%. I'll just scroll it somewhere 30%. Over here, alright. And then I release. Okay, once I release, you can see that a dot is just really been cut over here. So let's say again, I want to do another cut over here, but it's the 30% the bottom left hand side. So again, I'm going to click and hold it and drag and you can see that the percentage appeared again. So you can actually um, come over here. So let's say this is the position you want and then you release. And there you go, you have a cut. So again, once you are done with cutting, right click to, the, to, to, to stop the cutting. In, and you have this. Alright, now um, I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, do a quick snap, quick snap to the middle. So let's say I want to do a quick snap to the middle, 50%. Alright, all I need to do is press shift and you can see a black dot appear on the edge, whichever edge you want. Okay, and if you have cut this into half, this edge is going to have a 50% and that is the point that it's going to snap to. So I'm, even though my, my knife is not at this black dot, it's somewhere out of here, when I click, okay, you will have created this um, at the 50% mark. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and hold down shift again. You can see the black color dot. As long as the line is red and the black dot appear, just click on it and you will have cut it. Right? So this is as simple as that. And then right click and you're done. All right? So this is one of um, a very interactive and intuitive way of um, modeling and cutting in Maya. And then we also have this thing that's called snap percentage. All right. So how do we do work on this? It's very simple. Um, initially, we talk about click and hold, and you can see the percentage, right? Okay. And then we can okay, undo this. 
and we also talk about holding down shift and you can have a 50% so right now I'm going to show you how to use this snap 100% um, 10% you can actually adjust I'm going to just set it to 10 for now and I'm going to click and hold so that I have this percentage appeared and I'm going to hold down shift there you go you are able to see them in steps of 10% 10% increment okay so let's say I'm gonna go for 20% increment okay once I'm over here I'm just gonna release my mouse release my mouse okay and you will have cut it nicely at a 25 20% mark all right um, of course you can always choose um, the different amount of steps let's say for example you want 25% 25% from the bottom okay so same thing I'm going to move my mouse over here alright anywhere I'm going to click and hold it down right and hold down shift and you can see three marks appear at 25% um, increment alright so 25% from here okay I'm going to release and there you go and once you are done you can just right click and that's it you got your cut at a very accurate position alright one more thing that you can actually use is, let's say you want to cut a straight line. A straight line. You can actually hold down control. And you can see, once I hold down control, uh, a straight line appeared over here. So it means it will, it will help you cut um, a straight line down um, either from top to bottom or if you move from the side view over here it will be the left to the right okay so this is actually quite interactive as well so if I were to hold down shift you can see that it is um, hold on shift you can see this making a step at the snapping at 25% mark because I have this snapping turn on okay so again this speeds up your modeling by quite a fair bit okay so I'm gonna just try it here click and there you go Alright, and all these are actually found at the bottom of your tool settings where you have a mouse and shortcut. And probably that's all I can show you. Oh, the last one would be constraint at perpendicular angle. Okay, so it says control, shift, and left mouse click. So I'm going to click on control, okay, shift. Um, but I think it's already getting okay, a give you a right angle over here. However, if you hold control and then you hold down shift, you will also snap at those areas. Alright, so yep, that's all. And I hope you find this video helpful to you for your use of Maya 2016. If you like what I've shared with you, do subscribe and I hope to create more um, modeling and animation tutorial for you. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe. Goodbye.